welcome back to another episode of <laughs> Boys Love, Boys Love. Stay with me. Well, we finished the damn show, 23 okay? 24, the finale of the one season show. <laughs> Stay with me. Of the show that will not continue. Of the show that will definitely not be getting a second season. As far as we know. We know. How do we feel? It's tough. <laughs> oh, we're joined by special guest. Yeah. Jenny. <laughs> yeah. Jennifer and her ice cream. Jennifer and her ice cream. We're really going through it. I actually want to know how you are doing. <laughs> Genuinely. You're definitely a person who, like, if you watch something very effective, affects you affecting affect affecting mm -hmm. it does affect you for a, a while i'm a thoughtful person hmm. in theory or in practice i don't think so mm. <laughs> I, I did know where it was going. something happened i know something happens and that there was a big cliffhanger so the entire time i just kept expecting like what part of it will stop like how it was ending yeah. Because obviously, like, we're not watching this in a bubble. Like, we watch, we're recapping right. episodes and people are like, oh, just you wait. Yeah, yeah. And like, well, and I had even seen. But you'd seen clips when it was like happening, right? I had seen like screen caps of things, basically, yeah, yeah, as the yeah. show was coming out originally. That's why it was on the list of things I wanted to watch. Yeah. That was why it was my China pick. The clip of the them riding on the bicycle had gone around a bunch, so I knew that. Mm -hmm. I had seen the clip. I had seen a screen cap of the kiss from the last episode. Oh, okay. The cheek kiss. The cheek kiss in the dark. And I had seen a screen cap of Suyu holding Wooby's bloody body. <laughs> but I had no context for it. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know if he's dead. I don't know. I like. How do we it get It was here? so weird because people were like, oh, season two, season two. So I was like. Maybe well, this is season can't two. Can't be dead because. Yeah. How are you going to do a season two without the main character? That's my question at the end of this episode too. So I did know it was coming, and I have been just patiently waiting for us to get to, to how, the blood. how and why. Yeah, basically, because it's like it's just like um, I don't consider it honestly a spoiler. When Knives Out two came out, this is so random. When Knives Out two came out, and. People were like, oh, it's very clear who the killer is. And he was the killer. And then blah, blah, blah. People were like, well, it should be like, it should be a surprise. That's actually not the point. The point is like how, how and why. Yeah. How and why is like what's interesting about yeah. murder mysteries. This is obviously not a murder mystery, but that's what I just started considering in my head of like, how do, how do we get how to the we get point to that? Yeah. That that's where that we that's end up where we end show. up. Yeah. Totally. So it was fun for me to go on the journey of like, yeah, you could read the last page of a book, but that doesn't mean you understand the book. Yeah. You just know how it's going to end. That's kind of why I, I am it's in about general. the journey. It's how I am in general with spoilers, but also because. Yes, but you're a classic. You'll read the Wikipedia page of the horror movie. Yes, uh, that I absolutely do. Yeah. So you can have the conversation about mother exclamation point. But I actually haven't seen mother. Well, it's not a horror movie, technically. No. But, no, like, also, we, like, I am on BL TikTok and Twitter. Yeah. So, like, I will see screen caps without context. And so it's almost become part of the BL experience for me now of, like, okay, I know there is this screen cap in Osan's love where he says, I know you love big tits, but won't a big cock do instead? Oh, yes. Yeah. So it's like, that's what's going to make me want to watch right, right. that show. You know, like that's part of what gets people in. It now. would be like uh, the clip, the clip of Jung and Sabin kissing at the end of roommates. Yes. And you know, that's where it's going to end, but you know, but it's also a BL. It's also BL. Together, so, you know, anyway. that's where it ends. Yeah. So it's like, okay, yeah, then I will watch it. Yeah. So it's I, I spoilers don't bother me. Generally, spoilers don't bother me unless generally. it's something that's like purposefully going unless to change the framework of the show. Yeah, like an M Night Shyamalan film 
they are purposeful spoilers to you can't tell someone the ending of the sixth sense yeah because then it kind of ruins the first watch of sixth sense yeah you know what i mean i can't believe we're talking about this <laughs> episode 23 starts uh so you had pulled old man Wu aside and was like Wubi's gonna become a pilot so yes, in the last episode, we it gets cut off as he's, he's like, "Can I talk to you?" Mm -hmm. And but he tells Wooby something different than what actually happens. He tells Wooby that his dad's super supportive of it, and then we get to the flashback of the actual conversation, and it doesn't. Uh, my, maybe my definition of support is different from Sue's definition of support. It did not seem like a very supportive moment for Mister Wu. On that. A lot of questions and a lot of like a lot of questions and none, like, of it, none of it saying no. No, yeah. So and I guess in that way it's it not is, unsupportive. I, yeah. Is that the definition? I guess. Fergalish. If it's not, then it is. Yeah. Trying to convince Wooby that he has to apply for the the National Aeronautic Space Program University. I don't know anything. I know there's so little information in my brain, guys. Uh, and so he will become his tutor to help him pass the qualification entrance exam, basically. Um, everybody's studying at school because they have these big entrance exams coming up. Okay, we're in senior year. High School Musical 3, senior year. And Mao Chong... Uh, has decided he's going to become an actor because, again, he's attractive. <laughs> um, just want to remind everybody, someone did comment where? On YouTube? Where they were like, Mao Chong is hot. And I was like, you know what? Live your truth. That's great. There's a lid for every pot. That's what I say. <laughs> okay. So that's lovely. Great. Can we talk about this fucking conversation? He is tutoring him. Uh -huh. Suyu is tutoring Whoopi. And they have this like talk about, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, basically. Okay? More or less, that's the conversation. And it devolves into a joke fest about lube. I am not even <laughs> kidding that that is where the show has taken us. That is the journey that we are treading down right now. He's like lubricant, and they literally do word association like like in a boys' love recap. Yes, he's like, oh, lubricant. Well, what kind of lubricant are you talking about? Cut to Suyu then looking exhausted, and Adam was like, did they just pause from studying to fuck their brains out? A hundred, one hundred and fifty percent. We have discovered the Wattpad account that has translated the the books. entire books, the two books, and it's it's just filth. And I will be reading all <laughs> and of I it. I will be reading. I think both books have like four hundred. My job is starting to head into its slower time, so I am just gonna be in my place of work, place of business. <laughs> People who are mad that the show was not gay did not watch the show. I know. Did not watch the Isn't show. Isn't that crazy? Because even like the TikTok clips that I'll post, there are a lot of people that are still like, well, it's not technically a BL, blah, 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 blah. Or like, it's not technically gay. They're in it's a what romance. Realm? And it's like, in what realm mama. is this not gay? I mean, you have to fully close <laughs> your mind to everything to be like, well, it's not really a BL. They also, they kiss, I mean, they do not kiss on the lips. I guess if that's, but then like, okay, a shoulder to cry on isn't a BL. Yeah. You know what I mean? Half half the KBLs aren't BLs because they just do the like. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> uh, it's a BL. It's 100% a BL. They are fucking. There's a lot of other things going on in the show. It is not only a BL in which it's like, and uh, of course, in a classic BL, the whole point of the yeah, show is to like- a fucking succession, girl. Get them together, right? It's, they're not together, They've got, they end They together. are together now. They got together in like episode six. Basically. Basically. Okay. 
He said holidays. Let me spend my holidays with you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I mean, like, they've they've said things that... Okay. That I've never said to you, I girl. I will never say And I you. won't. Yeah. And you won't get, you won't you get won't that hear. out of me. <laughs> there is a scene in which Suyu says to Wubi um, that if he passes his entrance exam, he will reward him. And Wubi says, reward me with what? And then we don't we hear it. We do not hear what Suyu tells Wubi. Okay, what did you? I think it's what you think it was. Okay, do we want to get into this? Do we want to say this on this public forum in front of the girlies? I think we can say it in the way Suyu and Wubi would say it. Ah, so in Mandarin, <laughs> <laughs> I think that. He convinces Wubi to study very hard because he studies very hard. He's a vociferous he studier. <laughs> literally becomes, Mao Chong even says it like, it's like he's acting like a completely different person. He's so motivated. He's so motivated by whatever the fuck Suyu, Suyu has told him. Put on the line. Yeah. And I think what's on the line is an intimacy Never been, that's never been explored yet. That it's never been explored yet. An intimacy yeah. that knows no barriers. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm saying my insane hypoth with me. hypothesis. Uh huh. <laughs> Dr. Seuss. About the Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so the what was on the line was, was you can, you can, um, conquer this. <laughs> I mean, it has to be in the book. It's such like a thing. It's so clearly a reference to whatever the hell is in the book. Yeah. So, you know, check check back in 100 weeks when we've gotten to chapter 9,000 9, or whatever of this book series. <laughs> this is so crass. Excuse us. So, Bo Kwong is joining the military. This is where we're going to wrap up the Bo Kwong storyline. He does not end up becoming a pilot like I thought was what was being alluded to. That's what I'm to. saying. Everything we thought was going to come through Nothing. does not come through. And maybe that's a metaphor for life. Oh. Maybe there's something like... They're purposefully giving you like how threads to follow. How can I relate this back to communist China? Oh my can God. Can I say can like... We not? Well, I just mean like American, specifically American media... Is like you have a dream, you achieve the dream. Yeah. The show ends and you've done it. You did the thing, Angela Bassett. But like, you think it's going to go one way and then you have to re re recourse and figure out a new way that your life can still work. Mm. Maybe that's also okay. I mean, that's basically everything that they go through in the show is like, bitch, you thought. Yeah, that's true. In this essay, I will... <laughs> Mo Yi comes over. This is a very annoying scene. Um, we'll be studying. Anytime, let me just say this. Before I even say it, anytime you hear the name Mo Yi uttered, you can just be pretty positive that I am frustrated watching the show. Mo Yi comes on screen and uh, we'll be studying for his entrance exam. And he's like, I need you to come with me to another thing gig they're gonna go to hong kong and we gotta work take on hong kong is coming take on hong kong and kong kong, kong. is coming we gotta do it and he's like no because i'm actually gonna stay here and i'm gonna go to this university and he was like you're not gonna go to some third rate university weird to even assume that he would go to a third rate university i don't even know why that was like the okay yeah and he was like actually i'm going to fucking i'm going to the NASA west point bitch yeah whatever yeah and then he's like oh well if you, and then what what if you don't and then if you don't get in he was like well and if i don't get in i'm still not going with you because i'm gonna spend the rest of my life with duo duo but more specifically with to you and he was like wow are you even still my younger brother first of all no he's not <laughs> uh second of all and i understand culturally yes but uh you aren't, you have not felt close this whole show. Period. 
So for you to all of a sudden be like, I don't even know who you are anymore. You didn't know who he was at the start of the show when we first met you as a when character. When we first did this, girl. So I don't even know what, what is the point of that? I mean, like, I don't know if it's just because the book doesn't super set it up well, but like, Mo Yi is a bad character from the start. He's very clearly the villain of this show. Oh, okay. Bad as in like villainous or yes. like poorly written. <laughs> well... I mean, if we're supposed to believe that he is sent into this rage because he used to have this relationship with Wooby that he doesn't have anymore. There was never any no, feeling of like brotherhood, camaraderie, no, not at all. warmth. Even no. though you, you can still exhibit like some sort of familial warmth, even though you're not warm Bitch, people. That's the full point of the Godfather is like, they're so they're, loyal to each other. Yeah. yeah. But the, this has not way. done a good job of exuding that no. for me to understand his actions at the end of the show. And boy, are there actions. Boy, are there big actions. Uh, so he's, Moe is like now convinced that basically. That oh, he's like, like, you have to be separated. Yeah. They must be stopped. We and we said that too. <laughs> I mean, I, we, in a different way, we have said that they also must stop. <laughs> But we're not going to, like, cut someone's brake lines over. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, We're just going to, like, re put a recap video out on YouTube and be like, enough. It's very sweet. Wooby is, they, like, ride their bike again. And then Wooby has this whole thing of being like, don't worry. Like, I'm still going to, like, take you on, on the bike to your college. And then I'll go we're to mine. We're not moving to the university. No, we're, we're not, not living. We're going to stay together. We're, we're going to live in this house. Bitch. Where we sleep in the same bed. And we're going to like, blah, blah, blah. Okay, sweet. Fine. It's exam day. Were you a good examiner? Yeah. I'm a good test taker. I memorize things. But I don't know if I was. Am I smart? Jury's, Jury's still out. out. <laughs> Jury, Jury's deadlocked. Jury's hung. Who's jury? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I always did the really annoying thing of like, I need to be one of the first people to finish. I what for why? Just so I can get out of this room. Oh, because you could just leave? Yeah. Like huh. you're you're going to break now, basically. Or mm. if you're done. You're done. You're done. You're through. You're finished. There were definitely classes where I was the fastest one done, but I was never trying to be the fastest one done. The only thing that would ever get me into trouble with tests was I would never fully read the question. Oh. I was one of those. Where I'd like, read the first like half, and then I'd be like, oh, I know what oh, they're yeah, asking. I know what they're asking. <laughs> and then it would be like, what's okay. your name? You do that in real life, too. Yes, I know. <laughs> I've never learned my lesson. No. So Miss Girl Fujoshi in the class, I again, who's what's her name? It doesn't matter. She writes a lot. She comes up to Suyu. It's the last day. She comes up to Suyu and she was like, sophomore year, I wrote, I wrote you a, you love, a love letter. letter. Sophomore year, I wrote you a love letter. If I wrote you one now, would you accept it? And Suyu's <laughs> like, uh, um, and then she's like, so then she looks at and then I say, you have to accept it. And give it to him. And give it to him. And then she gives like two letters, but or it's a letter no, to it's both a letter of them. To, they open the letter, and it's actually a love letter to both of them. And I'm sure it is just smutty. smutty. It's smutty. I bet it's so She's smutty. Sick. And and I felt seen on screen. I, <laughs> I did. Yeah. So that's her little arc. She basically tells them that, like, I know who you. I know what you two are. That's literally, it's not actually it's a letter. Actually it's actually so funny because Wooby gets a kick out of it. Yes. He hands it to Suyu who starts reading it. Then Mao Chung comes up and he's like, what's that letter? And he's like, nothing. And it's so clearly like, oh, I can't read it in front of everybody. That I was like, oh, she fully is like, I know I you know two are together. I know you two are together. And I think it's so hot that it's semi-incestuous. <laughs> it's not our words, it's hers. It's her words. She said she wrote it on the letter. Listen, Clueless is a film. You know what I mean when I say that? Yes. Because they're know, like girls. step- The millennials know. Step siblings? Yeah. Right? Iconically, I watched Clueless for the first time in college, and I was like, this is fine. It's fine. And RJ and I wanted was, to has throw never been more him upset with me. Out the building. 
Yeah. Su Yu then is in this conversation with Mao Chong, and he's like, um, just so you know that, remember that one time where you asked me who was the most handsome, you or Wubi? It is actually you. I think you're the most handsome person I've ever seen in my life. And Wubi's like listening from the doorway. No, and like looked sulky. And sulky like and sullen and sad. And, and then, then it doesn't, never nothing comes happens. Back. It doesn't matter. <laughs> But I'm glad they said it because I guess speak your truth, King. But like, why it is so it in the show? Crazy, so funny. This is what I'm saying. Like, the books have like 400 chapters, and it feels like the show is made up of like little nods to as many nods chapters to as, as possible. many of the cha- yeah yeah. Mo Yi comes to the house, and he is looking for a contract that he gave. Okay, he's looking for a very important contract. That he gave Wooby an 18 year old just to hold for safekeeping. <laughs> okay. He calls, they're not home. He calls Wooby. Oh, we, but maybe the, okay, they're horseback riding. Maybe Su Yu's promise was that if they passed the entrance exam, they'd go horseback riding. Who the fuck knows? You thought it was a metaphor. Well, because riding. Sure. So he calls, they're wearing, guys, they are prince wearing outfits. Prince outfits. They are wearing specifically the enhi- the beginning of the Fever music video by and hype and outfits. Specifically. Uh, they look great. Um, they're with Duo Duo. He's like, where are these documents? And he's like, oh, just go inside the house and um, you can find them. He asks Suyu, where'd you put that contract that I told you that I was really nervous and scared about having and I needed to and put safekeeping? And I needed to put it for safekeeping. And Suyu's like, oh, it's in my desk, in my room. <laughs> they do have two rooms. Mm-hmm. Let's clarify. Well, first he's mad that he gave the contract to Suyu for safekeeping. But like, friend, you should not have given it to Wubi. You are you are a bad business person. <laughs> you are going to run this company into the ground whether or not Wooby gets involved and gives the company to sue you because he's so intelligent. You are the problem, <laughs> friend. Actually, it's not you. It's that little fucking rat tail that you Actually, have. it's that That's- little fucking rat tail, and I bet if you cut that off, you'd be fine. You'd be happier, honestly. You'd be a better person. <laughs> little rat tail ass. And then he finds the picture of Suyu and... Wan Ying. Wan Ying. And then he puts two and two together. And he's like... Then, Has he always known? Then mad because Wubi was covering up that Su Yu knew, him, knew her, her. And she wanted him instead of... But he, he still knows that she... But I still don't understand why she Su still, she still He still knows that she got rejected by Su Yu. He knows that she got rejected by Su Yu. He knows, he finds out that Wubi said that he's gonna, that Suyu is his. Okay. Yeah. And he also knows that they were like knew each other before she moved abroad. Abroad. Yeah. Which has nothing to do with you. Yeah. So I don't even know why you're upset to begin with. Also, you didn't like her. You made a point of being like, she means nothing to me. She means nothing to me. So why are you even. This character is, is so incredibly infuriating. Yeah. I've never been more frustrated by a character in a television <laughs> yeah. show that I've ever watched. Every time he came up, I was like, I don't care. I knew, I, I know you're going to be the one, but my God, you're so frustrating. So he's pissed. Um, and then, yeah, he confirms with Wan Yi on the phone call that she, she was like, he told me that Suyu is his. The vibe of his character is not, I'm mad because I'm homophobic. Yes. Which he sh- could be, and I would be like, this makes sense for his character. Yeah. It is like, how dare he throw away the, the company? The company Dude. that he doesn't want. want. Like, what are we even talking about? Episode 24. Um, They find out that the landlord, aka Mo Yi, who owns the building that the they own the restaurant the shack, in. shop in, yeah. And the and the flat upstairs has given them the flat upstairs for free, and so both Wubi and Suyu are like. Wubi calls Mo Yi. Mm-hmm. Suyu catches him. 
Because Moi's whole thing was like, well, they make you happy, and isn't that, aren't I just helping? Yeah, but he did, he, even but he you're doesn't, evil. nobody believes this. Yeah. And Moi doesn't believe it. Moi doesn't believe it. No one, no one believes anything that's happening, and except even, for, unfortunately, Mrs. Zhou Mrs. and Zhou, because old, they're man, like, wow, old man Su. And then Suyu catches Wubi on the phone, and Suyu actually says, like, you, your fucking cousin told me. He called me to be like, hope your family enjoys the free rent, basically. Yeah. So, like, it's already something that he is holding over them. Yeah. And they get into, like, a little bit of an argument about it, but not not really. And then there is, so they, they basically have to move out of the courtyard house because it's going to get work done. So... Suyu and Wubi move into Wubi's like flat condo. in the yeah his condo in the high rise, and then they move into the flat above the the store. Okay, so nobody's the courtyard building. Okay, they wake up together. This is so. I can't intimate. believe we're already here. The basically oh, half of the uh, episode uh, final the, episode is this. The last half of the episode is in slow motion. Yeah, it's like crazy. it's probably something that took them ten minutes to shoot, and it's like thirty minutes of the episode. Yeah. So they wake up together. Uh, they're Wooby gives a forehead and cheek kiss to Suyu. It's very sweet. I did not cry at this one, but it was very sweet. They go about their day, whatever. Uh, at some point, Suyu comes home. And he find and like somebody's digging in the closet, and so he like he thinks it's Wooby, and he kicks his butt, and it's actually Mo Yi. Now stand on business because Suyu does not apologize for kicking him in the butt, which is very funny because he didn't know. Also, why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you in my home? Why are you awful? Why is your hair like that? <laughs> A lot of questions. <laughs> And Mo Yi is like, oh, I'm look, I'm wearing, I'm wearing Wubi's clothes, and he's like, why are you wearing Wubi's clothes? He's like, cause I can, cause we're brothers. They have this conversation. It's very uncomfortable. Neither of them like each other. It's very clear. Suyu's very stubborn and is not backing down. Yes, which we do kind of like, but I'm also worried that it's heading in a bad direction. Uh, Mo Yi promises that he can get a spinal doctor's appointment tomorrow at 8 a.m. for old man Sue. Because he knows how... Because his back hurts. His back hurts. Wubi's mentioned that his back hurt, has been hurting since starting to work at the restaurant. Right. So he accepts this on his dad's behalf. Oh, he's like, you need to Moi, cut your hair yeah. because Moi it's long. It. And Sue's like, yeah, I was planning to get it done this week. And he's like, I can do it for you. I'm skilled. I've I learned done many how to cut my own jobs. hair when I was in... Yeah, when I worked abroad, when I lived abroad. Okay, so then they just then pull it turns out. Into wait, he has literal clipping shears and like the thing. He has the whole kit. And he has a kit with a with the like the the poncho. Yeah, at the house, he just has it. Okay, fine. He goes to cut the hair. We're getting a little. Uh, Phantom demon, Thready, Demon Barber of Fleet Street, Sweeney. Oh my fish. God, so Sweeney, Sweeney, Sweeney Todd, <laughs> the, the Demon, demon Barber of Fleet Street. Street. <laughs> so there is a very tense conversation in which Mo Yi is basically holding him by the neck with his like clippers next to his head, being like. So you really think you're something, huh? You really think you're handsome. Mo Yi, you're also handsome. It's weird that this conversation happens because... He's like so obsessed with how smitten Wubi ha is. He's trying to figure out like what it is. What, what it is. is it about Suyu that Wubi has like lost He's his mind He's not a over. monster like everyone else is in your family. That's yeah, what it is. There you go. He's a good person. He's a good wow. person. Imagine. Wubi comes Wubi in. Wubi comes in. He throws Mo Yi off of Suyu. And Suyu's like, I'm going to go shower now. And just like calmly walks out of the room. 
And then... But that's the thing. It's so built up to be... Like, it just feels so... I don't know, like... The last episode of this show <laughs> fully becomes a thriller. Yeah. Like, it feels... You but just can tell that we're like heading... To, it feels like it it led up to this situation. Yeah. Like, it's led up to the fact that Wubi and Moyi have this, like, weird... That they have this bond that they've always had. That Wubi feels like he has to... He owes something to his older brother. Like, he owes something to Moyi. Yeah. But then, like, knows that he can be wary about him. Yeah. And, like, Suyu is so fucking stubborn that yes. he will not back down for Moyi. Right. Even though I think he's starting to realize that he, Moi is capable of, well, also very and, bad then, and then add to the mix that Wubi and Suyu are like head over heels in love yes. with each other. It's like if I, it's the storm has now come we're, to the center. We're in a tempest, honey. Uh, Wubi tells Suyu to be wary of the Mo family because they're all psychopaths. <laughs> Words that he chose to use, not me. And so then tomorrow morning is the court date and the spinal doctor's appointment. Yes. They go down to their two cars because we find out through a one line that uh, Suyu had just got his driver's license. And, and remember, Wubi's dad bought him the two cars. Yes. And but what happened to the blue car? Oh, Are yeah, they both match car? now. It doesn't matter. They're both black cars. They look exactly the same. They're Whose wearing the same is it? clothes. A points don't matter. The cars don't matter. The, they have black pants, white shirt. Everything matches right now. Yes. They wore the same outfit. Wooby all of a sudden is like. Actually, let me drive. Let you me drive you. Car. And I'll, then I'll go to the court from there. And he's like, no, I can drive. And he's like, I would just rather not. So he drives Suyu's car. This is at the point where you know it's not going to end well. If you've ever watched, like, The Pelican Brief. Yes. Because everything was so specific that they're wearing the same thing. Yes. Having the same car. Yeah. Having to be out of place at the same time. Mm -hmm. I thought that there was going to be another car. That there was going to be a hit on the car. That it's like, follow this license plate. Run them off the road. And what? Make sure that the driver is wearing this, and then run yes, them off I the thought road. that too. That's what I because everything was yes. And then it wasn't. It wasn't that again. Again, the show is the just, show is actually make yeah no keeps you on your toes. This yeah. little show. So they get in the car. Wooby's driving. They almost hit a truck. This feels like it's just there was almost an accident. There was almost an accident. And Wooby gets them out of it. And then after that, there's no more That's when no they realize that the brakes stop working. The brakes are gone. And instead of just taking his foot off the gas pedal and letting the car, like going into neutral and letting the car just coast until it comes it's to a stop up. on its own or it slows down enough that you can like safely hit a tree. Um, he keeps his foot on the gas. He keeps driving. He's and like, he keeps I shifting keep into higher and higher gears. Uh, this isn't and, uh, Back to the Future Girl. If you hit was, 86 miles an hour, you're not going to like go into the past. And telling Suyu, just just sleep. Yeah, just rest your eyes. Just rest your eyes. Well, that's you. It's me. Okay, point of the story if is that- If I was in the situation, if we were in the situation, Adam, I would jump out of the car before you, bef as soon as you say the brakes don't work. Yeah, a hunt. That's, Bye. Yes. Jump off right Correct. now. That's not what they do. That's not what they do. There is traffic all of a sudden. They hit a truck. The car is so low. The truck is so high. The bar of the truck comes into the car through the windshield. It's a horrifying accident. Wooby has thrown himself over Suyu to protect him from getting So hurt. it looks like something like Pierce's... We sure we don't, we don't know. know. You don't know. He uh, there is blood. They are covered. there is so much blood. I mean the the when they were dressing that set, they were like no 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 more 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 more. I mean it starts to look a little cartoony because it does look just like red red dye was just yeah. thrown on them, not yeah. like actual blood in any way. But uh, this is at the point I started crying. Mm -hmm. 
And at the point of our reaction where we are just silent until the oh, very end. Oh, it's totally silent. No fun is being had on this reaction. We, he pulls him out of the car. He uses superhuman strength to open the door and get Wooby out. They cut him kind of like getting him out. They just, all of a sudden yeah. he's just out. And they're on the street and he's holding him. Yes. And like wailing. Wailing. The morning rush, the morning traffic has hindered the ambulance. Yeah. On this road. The morning, that have no the morning traffic, the rush hour traffic, of which a minute and a half ago there were so few cars on the road that they were able to drive like 88 miles an hour. Without brakes. So, okay. But now there's a bunch of traffic, so the ambulance is stuck. So he asks which way the ambulance is coming from. He picks up. Wooby and he on his back him and he runs to, to the, the towards the ambulance. They go to the hospital. The doctor comes out, and the episode ends. The episode ends, and that's stay with me. <laughs> but, but. The girlies let us know there was an extend. The extended ending is on YouTube. The extended ending is on YouTube. So the doctor comes out. Doctor says he's out of surgery, but he's, he's out in of intensive surgery, care. but he's in intensive care. And so we don't know. To, he'll have to stay there. Right. A on nurse th- comes over and it's like, please, the hospital bill must be paid right now. You have to right pay now. this hospital bill right now. So he is covered in blood. His hands are sticky in blood, trying to comically pull. F- 5,000 yen from his wallet. Yeah. Because the nurse is like, it's 5,000 yen. Not, not, but this, when he is, when we say he's covered Covered in in blood, blood. he is, he is a walking biohazard. And these hospital workers are like, can you hand me the bloody, the literal bloody money or what? can (laughs) Can you pay this damn bill? We're trying to get our coins. He pulls out. He doesn't have enough. He only has like 3,000. Yeah, like thirty. So he's like, this is all I have. Is this okay? And she's like, fine. And takes bloody, blood-soaked Let me tell bills. you this. Let me tell you this. Bills. When I worked at the grocery store, there would be women who would come in and reach into their brower and hand me wet, sweaty bills, bills. from their brower. And I would refuse to take those. You couldn't. You could not pay me enough money to take bloody money. Bloody money needs to be taken out of circulation. Yes, we can't even, we gotta, no. The bank won't even accept that, No, what are we doing? This is crazy. The insanity, and I don't know what it's like. I don't know what it's like. like. Maybe they they were trying to find something. Like, I understand there's something. He needs a bit of business. They need something where it's like, Take him but out again, of the it's bring weird him back to because it doesn't matter. There's nothing that happens because of the bill yes. where he's they're like, you have to leave now, or we can't put him in intensive. Like no, there's no just stakes like, that come with just it. Like, fine. They're just like, okay, you can't pay the full bill. So on his way out, he, he runs sees into Mo Yi. Mo Yi, he says to he Mo, says Mo, Yi, to Mo Yi, you meant to kill me, didn't you? Yeah. And then Mo Yi doesn't acknowledge what he says. He might as well have. At this point, uh, but he does say, "You're going to ruin his life. You've already ruined his life." And then that's where the season ends. The series ends, which is so weird because Mo Yi, when f- he found out that Wu Bi was going to take Suyu in Suyu's car there first mm-hmm. he realizes that like oh no he's in the he's car. fucked he's fucked yeah so it's like he knows what's gonna happen yeah but still at the end of the day is like because of his compassion to you is the reason why he, he's dead now i had nothing to do i was merely an innocent bystander in this nefarious plot to cut the brake lines of your car <laughs> i'm so sorry but it's really your fault, your girl, fault girl, because girl, you're so- too handsome you're too smart. <laughs> so we're going to stop that. Okay. What how how do you feel? I don't feel great. I Does I, this feel like but to me this doesn't feel like a kill your gaze. Mostly cuz he doesn't die. 
Uh, gay people can never end up together because it's mm, a few reasons. One, you can't really show gay people ending up in a happily ever after. Two, it's <laughs> you can get tons of awards if you just give gay people AIDS and kill them off. Uh, it doesn't have to be just AIDS, but that was like that stereotypically was big, where it started. Yeah. Uh, and then three, just general homophobia. That you don't, you, you can't stomach, you can't quote unquote sacrifice the, your show or whatever you're trying to do by showing that a gay couple can like be happy. Yeah. Have they ever can get a there has to be tragedy attached. There has to be tragedy attached because gays are inherently tragic. They're tragic Tragic beings in the world. Yeah. Yes. And it's like, no, girl, we're just trying to live our lives. It doesn't feel that way because it's not that it's not because he's gay. It's because of this fucking succession bullshit. Yes. It's greed. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it to me because he doesn't. Oh, he's not dead. Because it's so clearly set up for a season two. It's like, and the, you could have easily just killed him. Yeah. I mean, that that's literally what happens in Kissable, sorry, spoiler alert, Kissable Lips is like he dies. Um, I would also still say that's not a kill your gaze because he's a murderer. Damn, but um, but um, yeah, he, it mm-hmm. didn't feel like that to me. Yeah. I can see why people could argue it, but to me, it doesn't read that way. Were you obviously not, you're not satisfied with this ending, but y- it doesn't feel like an ending. It's meant to be. No, again, a it feels like another, another weird season. in the middle of the episode. We just stop. Yeah. Yeah. It's a but bummer because if say, they had been able to finish. But after getting 23 episodes of that same feeling, I guess I was like, well, yeah. This I wasn't is expect- how this show should end. Yes, I wasn't expecting a complete ending. Right. Because they've been showing me episode to episode, you won't. I don't hate, I'm trying to figure out, do I hate that like they really were like banking on a second season, so that's why they left it open? Yeah. I don't you hate You should still it. Con- I don't love complete a story, it. but technically they did complete a story. Yeah. If this ended in t- episode 20. I mean, this is like how classic, like, TV Grace, is yeah. Grey's Anatomy seasons end. Where this it's is like, Shondaland, girl. Th- yeah, this is like you put someone in, in a precarious danger situation right, at the, right at the end. And then you say, come back next season, see if it resolves. Yeah. Who shot JR? So, I mean, technically, they did finish the story. If you want to take season one as like, will Wooby's family accept well, the families accept what's going on. Right. I guess, yeah. Yeah. It's not great, but it's... It's not great. I'm going... I elect to believe... Well, first of all, there's the ending. But even if I hadn't seen the extended ending, just the f- simple knowledge of, like, they were going to do a season two tells me that they he was going to live. Yeah. I mean... Even without reading the books, blah, 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 blah. It's so clearly set up to be like, and now it's the road to recovery. Right. And like, how do we get past this? And how do we beat Mo Yi? Mm-hmm. And that would be like the whole thing of the next season, which would be great. But it doesn't, it doesn't hurt me because I, first of all, the, the iconography of like, carrying him to the holding him in the street carrying Carrying him him to the the ambulance ambulance. that's love yeah yeah tears i did i did i did tear many tears came out of my eyes you've got okay what are twice fans called once that's how much you would watch this Mm -hmm. i ain't reading all that sorry sorry congratulations congratulations sorry sorry that happened to you complicated fave Keeping this in syndication. Uh, I wish I could scrub my memory so I can watch it again. (sighs) Okay, my theory of brothers. By, by, sorry, by the plain fact of the relationship, let's Mm -hmm. say. It's complicated fave. It's complicated fave. There were moments where I was like, I, I mean, we kept saying it. It was so watchable. 
it's so it's incredibly so watchable. incredibly watchable. It was television. It is. It is the it is platonic network, ideal of just watching it is network entertainment. BL. And it's Honey. like it's actually frustrating that we never ate it with popcorn because it's such a popcorny. Yes. like just <gasps> yeah, because we were reacting. So yeah, I think if it had an ending, maybe not this ending, maybe not the like blood and everything. But if it had a an ending that like felt more, you got like some sort of come up and or whatever. I think I would put this in like a uh. I'm keeping this on syndication because yeah. there's so much of this show that I would love to watch. To watch again. again, I know it's so. Honestly, the fi- family drama stuff, the found family specifically, the found family. Like, so I just family. like a lot of their energy together. I love their dynamic as two yeah. characters. I think like Wooby's character growth through the season is so good. Obviously, Sue you too, but I j- like I love Duo Duo. I love the way they interact with Duo Duo. I love Bo Kwong being in drag. I mean, like, there's a lot yeah. of things I really like about yeah. the show. Um, I had a really good time watching it, too. I think it was a really good choice. Okay, in The Matrix, for the gays, for the straights. Mm-hmm. It's for the straights, for sure. For sure. And on the Y, plot-driven, character-driven. Oh, it's definitely... Oh. It feels... The, it is driven more by story and plot. Like the plot yes. is what moves them to move forward. <laughs> yes, there is character development. There's development, but it's and there's driven. relationships that get developed. But it's not driven. But really, by no one the- super changes through the yeah. show. Yeah, even like, even like, I think Wooby is the most. Wooby changes the well, most because he's I kind of like both. Both they now. both like brighten up. Yeah. They both relax. They both relax. Uh, and they both like get to a place of understanding with their parents that they were on bad terms with. <laughs> um, but even then, it's still not like, and now it's Sunshine Daisy's Butter Mellow. You know what I mean? It's still, he's still fighting with his dad in like the last episode or whatever. Yeah. I would say, yeah, more plot, more plot and story driven for yeah. sure. Yeah. Wow. Is that our first one? It's, it's, I think so. For the first one, we've recapped. We've re- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, we, st- we did and we it. Stuck, and we st- stood with them. And we stood with them and we stand with them. <laughs> and I will be following them on socials. Mm-hmm. Um, because I, uh, I find both of them incredibly attractive and I want to see professional pictures of them on my feed. Yeah. So that's how I feel about them. Who was your overall MVP? It's it's wooby. It's it's so wooby. It's know. so wooby. Even though Suyu does a really great job, this last episode, he is. I was like sobbing because yeah. of his performance. Yeah, just being horrified at what has happened, but still staying very strong. Yes, and I, I mean, he waited three days to have a conversation. So yeah. Yeah, I think it's Wooby. Wooby is kind of the star of the show. He's the star of the show, and he's like so dynamic in a way that Suyu doesn't get to be. Yes, yes. Um, and he just gets to, he gets to be more facets of a character. Like he gets to be playful more than Suyu does, because Suyu, even when he gets playful, it still has to be like a smart playful. Mm-hmm. It still has to come from a place of intelligence, where. Wooby gets to do like so much more physical kind of like I mean there's the iconic beating up of the like guys yes, on the street on like episode two or three or whatever. Yeah. So if you are still watching us on YouTube, um you can watch us doing our His Man recaps right now, His Man three. Um we've got more BL recaps coming soon. We're doing one shot series recaps from the shows we're watching on Patreon. We've already started our next BL series on Patreon. Yes, we already have. Which is Love is Like a Cat. Love is Like a Cat. So you'll see that series recap in a bit. We will come back to do a full BL recap again on YouTube. And it's going to be (laughs) History 3 Trapped. Yes. Next week is going to be a survival show. Yeah. 
On this spot. On this day. On this day. In this time slot. Yeah. Yeah. On the Ampliverse channel. Yeah. And there you go. Okay, for the last time, Adam. Stop requesting. Now you are.